So Sam, we're going to quickly digest on last week. Um, Rob said there'd be some tough talking. Was there tough talking in the in the wake of Bath amongst players as well as the yeah. as the coaches coming after you? Yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, after a loss like that, we always come together as a group uh, after the game. But then on the you know the first training day back in, we we have a we have a chat and um, you know you have to have those tough conversations because our standards. You know that the, the way that we played on the weekend, that's not our standards, and um, clearly it wasn't a, a game that many of us <laughs> or any of us should be proud of. Um, but I feel like we've we've hashed it out now, and um, this training week has, has been very good. The energy energy is very good, and, and we know what challenge you know cut is coming for us on Sunday, and, and we're looking forward to it. I was going to say the buzz. We've just we've just come off the training field there. There's a real buzz about the place, the Champions Cup that's going to ignite you, but. The good thing about sport is you don't have to wait long to put things right, and mm. this is a prime opportunity for you to do it now, isn't it? Yeah, training today was was very good. Uh, the weather looks like it's getting a bit better. The pitches are getting a little bit firmer, and and, and hopefully we see that on Sunday. Um, yeah, like you said, the games come thick and fast, and probably doesn't get much better, uh, much bigger at this stage of the season. Um, home, last sixteen match against uh, a big French side, and we've prepared well this week, and and we're looking forward to it. Quirky turn of fate. It's going to be against the team that you're joining. Um, you know from past experience, though, Montpellier, tough, tough opponents. Yeah, um, probably adds that little bit extra for, for me. Um, probably would have done for the boys that, that are signed there as well, but obviously injured. But, um, you know, they they won the top 14 last year. They probably had a little bit similar to us our season, um, where they put a few games together, but um, consist- consistency hasn't hasn't been great. Um, but I think that all goes out the window. Um, it's a knockout game. Um, you know, it's almost win it, win it takes all, and we, that's how we've treated it. It's a one-off game. Um, doesn't matter what happens the week after, week after about who who we might play if if we don't win on the weekend. So um, we're treating it as our as our cup final, um, and and we'll see how we go and and see what the result is after the game. We know you're heading to pastures new at the end of the season. Does it make weekends like this one coming up? extra special now you're going to live for the moment and yeah. it, it really enjoy these last few days at Sandy Park yeah um, you know depending on results this this could be my um, second to last home game uh, and you know this, this is where I've called home for 10 years not not playing for 10 years but for the last five six seven years of I've, I've been involved um, with the first team and it's a tough it's a tough one you know it's a tough decision it's the same for a lot of boys. Um, it's going to be a lot of emotion, um, but hopefully that that spurs us on to to great things. Spurs us on to um, a bigger performance and, and hopefully winning. Rob talked about frustrations this morning, and I guess weekends like last weekend are, are what frustrate a little bit. You know, you know what the team is capable of. You know, as individuals, what you're capable of. It's a case of just trying to put that right. You know, these last few weeks now. Yeah. That... You know, the I know the fans uh, would be frustrated of, of, of how we played. Um, you know, we're we're hundred percent frustrated of how well, we played. Biggest critics, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we we don't go out there to perform badly. Um, you know, we're we're coming up against. I know Bath at the time. Um, you know, our, our bottom of the league, but they're still a good team. They're still um, they perform well on the day, and, and we just didn't. We 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 weren't at the races. Um, and that frustrates us uh, a lot. It obviously, frustrates the coaches, as you saw in, in Rob's reaction. Um, but we can we can have an, a reaction this weekend. We can make make things better by um, you know not just winning. It, it's not about winning. It's about the result. Uh, it's about the performance. Sorry. It's about how we go out there on Sunday and, and show to our fans what it means to us. And and hopefully we get the result uh, off the back of that. And here at home, you've been strong, but the Champions Cup personally for you mm. it's been a competition which you've thrived in go back a few years yeah. you won that double year you were European player of the year yeah. it's something that's always ignited you in a lot of ways yeah there's there's not there's not much better um, feeling than, than them running out um, obviously at home but in the European game the history of the competition um, the calibre of players and, and legends that have played in it and, and won the competition um that that just adds to the emotion, the crowd. There's all, it always feels like something is brewing a little bit more in the crowd because of whether it's because of the um, how the game is or or the opposition and and you know the history of the game. It, it just adds to adds to how you feel. Um, the emotion I'm sure will be there because 
you know, it's big games obviously for, for Jack Yendall, it's his 250th game, uh, Noel's is 150th game and um, those things are to be celebrated but uh, I think yeah, the emotion will be there on the weekend and hopefully we can turn that into a big performance. And finally, the threat of Montpellier, you would have done your homework on them this week, they're going to be big, lumpy, mm. they like to throw the ball around, typically French. Yeah, yeah, they're a team that try to, to overpower you, um, there might be periods in the game where you think um, you know, we've got them here, they're, they're, they're slowing up, but they then inject that, that bit of pace, that individual brilliance, um, and that's what we've got to, to work on to try and nullify. Um, we've got to try and take their, obviously their big players out of the game, but their speed, you know, Kobus Reinach, um, their back, he's, he's the guy that gets their back line going. Um, we've got to try and nullify him um, and obviously, you know, take the legs out of the, the big guys. They're, they're a big, meaty pack. Um, and we've got to try and uh, run them ragged a little bit.